All right, guys. So here's where we are with the sumo crawler servo transmission slash transfer case, I guess. Uh, a little earlier, I built this um, servo to build a servo winch with, and uh, I decided uh, I throw it in there in the sumo and see what happened. Uh, as you can see, obviously, you know this is just kind of like a thrown in there to see if it'll work kind of thing. The angles are obviously not what I want them to be and uh, everything is not perfect but it's just to show you guys uh, that the theory at least works uh, like I said before you know you're able to put either the servo in the center of the whole thing or to the side to make room for the battery depending on where you put it is where you have that drive shaft coming out of now this servo I didn't cut the front of it you know, you still get that uh, little piece there of the gear where you would uh, attach the servo arm to. Usually, you know, when I actually mount this, I'm going to cut that off so the shaft is not at such a high angle. And of course, I have to, um, you know, tilt the axles forward and all the stuff. But like I said, this is just to show you guys that the actual concept works. That is um, an MG996R uh, servo. It's uh, not as strong as the other one that I had, but it'll do, at least for now. Now, uh, I, I don't have the servos connected to it. I only got the, the actual servo for the drive. And uh, I'll be running it with my GT3B. And uh, my FlySky, you know, six channel receiver. And then... Uh, 2S battery connected directly to the receiver. That's what's going to be powering the servo. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Oh, that's getting kind of caught in there. Now, the beauty of doing this is the fact that you do away with the ESC. You don't really need it anymore. Uh, you can actually run this servo plus the other two with your GT3B, as long as you put that uh, receiver in there to supply the power to all the servos. And um, you know, the ESC, which is the biggest issue that you will have with a sumo, uh, sumo crawler, you don't need it anymore. That's it, it's done. Forever bye bye. You will actually be running a sumo crawler without an ESC. The only thing you're going to have in this sumo crawler that's going to play the role of the ESC. It's going to be the actual board that came from the servo itself. I guess that'll do the job with the ESC, at least for the motor, of the drive motor. Uh, you need to keep that one if you want to have uh, progressive throttle. You know, if you don't put that on and you just run it straight to the motor, it's just going to go either, you know, all power forward or all power reverse. You don't want that. You want that uh, little bit of... Um, I guess choices in speed. You're gonna be crawling. You know, you you need to have different speeds. But uh, like I said, this is just to show that the concept works. I will have this, you know, all set up real nice and when I get a chance. But as you can see, all four wheels turn, both drive shafts are going. The only thing I have in there is that servo. Took the details off the side of the sumo so you can see the servo in there. So you can see it's creeping a little. I haven't set the trim on it yet. But uh, there's the servo. All of the gears on that servo, of course, are metal gears. That's the main reason why I started with this project. And it's kind of kept going and going and going. But, um, you know, it works. You got a servo in there driving your sumo. There's no way you're going to break those gears. There's no way you're going to run out of power. Uh, I'm planning on getting um, at least a 250 ounce servo to run it. As a matter of fact, I'm not even thinking about using the single servo. I'm actually planning on putting servos one by side. That'll be one motor for the front 
axle, one motor for the rear axles. The reason for that is, of course, a ridiculous amount of power, which I'll be able to control because the, the receiver is the one that's going to be supplying the power, and these receivers I've run with up to the whole six channels all together at the same time just to test to see if they could handle it. And that's all six channels running big servos like this one. So I'm going to have two of the big servos, hopefully 250 um, ounce uh, torque on it, uh, which translates to, I don't know, like 15 kilograms, I don't know, something like that. Uh, side by side, one for the front, one for the rear. What's going to happen when I do that? Well, because I have the GT3B hacked, I'll be able to have um, front and rear steer uh, with the mix function, which means I'll be able to do crab walk and, you know, side by side, all kinds of steering, front steering, rear steering, both together. I'll be able to still do that uh, without any EC, just a receiver. And I'll be able to choose which motor I want to run at what time, meaning I'll be able to do front and rear dig function. Uh, as far as I know, there's no sumo out there as of right now that's running the dig function. I mean, you can get the kilo and that'll do the rear, you know, dig, but it doesn't have four-wheel steering. This will be, as far as I know, again, I don't know, somebody out there might have it, uh, this will be the first sumo crawler with four wheel steering and front and rear digs with dual motors I uh, really doubt that any lossy out there is going to have as much power as this guy is going to have with the dual motors so I think once I do that I will solve the whole issue of underpowered sumos that's out there uh, as it is right now with this motor this sumo is freaking like a hundred times stronger than what it is stock um, let me see if I can do a little something here all right so oh, this is glass and those tires are rubber so you know they want to stick to that glass and not go I'm not even giving it full throttle here and the whole thing is just spinning the four tires. Now, like you guys already know, these are the Q-Low tires that are my claws, which are a lot bigger, have a lot more grip. Plus, I got them way down as well. I got four plates on each tire. So, anybody got any question as far as torque goes with this guy? More than you'll ever need. And once I put the two motors in there, there's nothing going to be able to stop this little guy. <laughs> well, maybe some broken axles and dry chest, but hey, it comes with it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I'll hopefully, God willing, I'll be able to finish this this weekend. If not, by the end of next week, I'll, I'll have a video of it running and uh, showing you guys how well or how horrible it does. All right? hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.